She was saying, when they were doing that dance that first night, that welcome, when they did it all that first night, she had all them old people there from Murugula, had no idea what was going on, no idea what they were. And they, and they were just sitting over there on the side, watching everything going on, and they, they, were, they, they, they were not even invited to participate in that contest. No. Well, that's what we've got to get in the side, but... So don't everyone run away when we finish talking this other one. No <laughs> <laughs> way, that's you, brother. Um, just, let's get, we got a lot of work and uh, get this statement going. Um, talking about bunk. Les has, Les has got some stuff there that Jenny wrote up and um, I just put some notes down here. Yeah. Um, and I think what we need to do is start talking about amalgamation and, amalgamation and, put, and putting a good up. statement together, Sorry, a very I, strong statement. I, I should have asked to speak, I do apologise to Circle. Sorry, <coughs> I'm yes. listening. Um, so, so I think, you know, without further ado, I think we really need to nut this out and get it out there, get a statement out there and um, make our position very, very well known. Um, the... Um, what I've written basically here, just as a, just as a, some, a thought, just to prompt people's minds, to start people thinking, um, and what Jenny wrote yesterday, I, um, we'll go through that as well. I, I think it's absolutely essential that we put all our collective minds together to make a very powerful sort of statement from here. And um, it, it's one thing to, to be critical of um, what's gone on, and what people do, but we also need to give some direction as to where we want to go and what we want to get out as an outcome. Um, you know, the time for just just mouthing off and criticising is finished. We have to find a way forward, and that's what a lot of people are waiting for: is okay, where to from here? And I think that's what we got to. That's something we really have to focus on: is how to go forward. And, um, and one, one thing that, that hasn't worked in the past, and that is people making um, a, a, a collective thought uh, out there, putting it out there and saying, this is how we all should go. A lot of people now have gone back to their own country. It's their law. They got to make their own decisions. Yeah? Those nations have to make decisions. Right. And we have to make it so that, um, so that they're the ones who are going to guide the pathway to the future because it's not for the Gomorrah to set up and say this is how we're going to do it and uh, you know APY should be following this or Kuma or you know any other nation should be following what we're doing. Each nation has a right to make their own decision and that's the way it's, it's starting to work and it's, it's appropriate. It is appropriate. That's the way to go. Um, otherwise we all end up in trouble and we get you know, we get slammed everywhere. And so we know that doing it the Whitefellas way just don't work. It don't work at all. And we've messed, we, we've got to this point here now where, you know, we're, we're basically chasing our own tails. And so out of this here, I think we need to not only condemn what happened in Uluru and, uh, and what, what that referendum council recognised doing, but we need to make a decision here about how we think it should go and um, and put it out there just so that the people will pick up on this themselves and they will they will work it the way they want to work it. So we just need to sort of put up basically a, almost a template and then they can, you know, people can take it themselves and do, do what they need to do. And that's what we need to do. This is, this is just a, a bit of a guide and it's a statement coming from us. And I think we, we, we really need not just make condemnations, <coughs> but make some suggestions going forward. And, uh, and then people get some ideas, and then they'll pick it up themselves. Um, nothing is to be hard and fast. I, I think, you know, we would be silly doing that. Michael, can yeah. I, like, this statement, where's it, gonna come, where's it coming from? I just, like, yeah. I just like to suggest that it, it's coming from the Sacred Fire, 10 MSC, Canberra. Yeah. Yeah. The statement's coming from because we're all sitting around there and we're all one mob, yeah. and this sacred fire is 
gives us that cultural significance as well, um, as we name it. Like, yeah. But it's up for well, interpretation. I, I, there's one, only one little concern and reservation. Um, when you look at that 10 Embassy Facebook page, yeah. Ah, that's, um, that's, that's social media. Yeah. Can I speak, please? No, 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 brother. No, no. no, no. But You're when, when, when we when we look at that, um, and it's, it's oh, yeah. promoted as being, it's as being the embassy, and it's a, it's a little bit of a problem if we put up a statement from here, and then all of a sudden that's counted by some statement on that website, on that Facebook page, saying no, that's not the case. Well, then you know we. All that's happening is that the public sees that as a as a confrontation, a split, or be seen to be a split, and then the government will love that as well. They'll promote that, and of course the recognition campaign will also um, take that on board as well and use it to maintain this massive division. So I, I think that's really something that we need to, you know, after we do the statement, we say, well, how do we take this forward? What do you say, Chris? Yeah. How we take this forward? And where's this statement going to come from? Yeah. Who's making the statement? That's that's something for us to think about as we you know, now go into this, I think. Liz? Yes, thank you, Uncle. Liz. No, Sorry, no, I didn't mean to no, just no, make sure I'm in the circle. What happened? No, I was asking Liz. Oh, uh, Liz. From yesterday, Liz. This dialogue, we can't just rush this either. That's right. This response to this dialogue. We've got to really sit down and think about what we're going to put into this. Mm. We all heard what the other delegate said yesterday. Um, Can I raise another matter, um, just for when you're going home tonight? Um, they're talking about, you know, being part of a, of a of this fucking constitution. There. Um, there's one thing that Turnbull is being very smart, right? Turnbull is still very much involved in the Republic movement. Yeah. Very much involved, yes, yeah? Now, they've got a little program going, it's not a little one either, it's a, it's a very wealthy program, mm. um, where um, one of the main um, now patrons to it is uh, that uh, Packer, yeah, James Packer. And they're funding, uh, they got $175 million donated about three months ago down at Packer's office down there in Sydney at Barung Barungahoo or whatever they call it. Yeah. And, um, and it's towards a republic, setting up a republic of Australia. Now, they want to include us in the constitution of Australia, the existing one, but Turnbull knows full well that as soon as the Queen abdicates her position, then they will make a move then to, for Australia to become a republic. And in becoming a republic, they're going to have to rewrite another constitution. Yeah? And so we, if, if these blackfellas here rush in to become part of, a, of this constitution, then what happens in the transitional period then if they become part of the constitution of Australia, then where does that put us? The problem they got right now is that um, they don't have legitimacy. They know that very much. They know that full well, but they don't have legitimacy because the inhabitants of the country are not part of it. Yeah? So they can't have legitimacy because they're occupying another, pe another group of people's territory and lands. And that's what makes them illegitimate. And they know that just as much as everybody in the world knows that who are involved in high level politics. And so to legitimise their process, that's why they're pushing very hard to engage Aboriginal people in the process and in the Constitution of Australia because then that legitimises their occupation. And, and so then they're seen to be consenting or we're seen to be part of consenting to them governing this, this territory. So while ever we stay outside of that, they, they don't have that legitimacy. And that's their problem, they know it. Our people are the only ones who don't really know the technical aspects of that yeah, and the legal aspects of that. And this is something we've got to educate our mob about in fully understanding that. And it's, it's a very complicated thing, but yet it's very simple. They don't have legitimacy without us. Do you think that's also what they were doing in the 68 or 67 referendum? Yeah, well, they missed the, they missed the target pretty, pretty, 
big time. They, they missed it because they didn't include us in the Constitution of Australia. Well, that was back in 1901. Yeah. So when the, in 67... No, in 67, they missed the target as well because they did not have... The, they took the word Aboriginal out of the Constitution. As soon as they took the word Aboriginal out of the Constitution, we don't exist in their system, right? But they wanted to count us in the, in the census, yeah? So that we were counted, but we were basic, and that's why every time you see, you, you tick that little thing, whether you're Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander, you have, they have to do that because we are not part of their system. We are not legally part of their system. And this is something our people don't know, and too many of our people out in the bush out there, the first thing they say to me is, we have to be fucking Australian, you clown, otherwise they cut our dole off, <laughs> right? And so our mob are shit scared of having the dole cut off if they go sovereignty way and they, they sort of say, well, how do we make sure we got money? You know, what are they going to do to us if we do that? Are we going to get our pensions? And then, you know, you got them silly black who saying, yeah, I've been on the pension that fucking long now. I'm waiting for my payout when I get my, what do they call it, superannuation from fucking being on the dole, you know? <laughs> hey. so, 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 the position, we, we need to understand where we go on and how to direct the mob out there in the community. Because if we're not citizens of Australia and they're giving us money from up here, then as far as I'm concerned, that's paying the rent. And we have to turn this around and start really thinking about all of this. Um, and, we're, we're, and we're not really getting down to these nitty gritty things of talking about this. We're all acting under duress. We are, that's right. And we're all under pressure. And that's why we need to just take time out to step back a little bit and start really thinking about the finer points of this, you know. And, and, um, and I think when you go away tonight, just think about those things so that we can maybe address some of those things tomorrow. And when we put this statement out, that's why we need to say we're not part of this bucket system. We never were and we don't ever want to. We've got to finish this statement off tomorrow.